Hey everybody, Erin here. I have been listening to your requests and one of the things that you guys have been asking for has been videos that are a little bit more on the educational side. So let's talk yoga philosophy, but in a way that makes sense, in a way that maybe I can apply to my actual life and simply. So we're gonna simplify one of the most uh, well-known aspects of yoga philosophy and that is the eight limbs of yoga. Now there is plenty to talk about with the eight limbs of yoga. So we're gonna break this up into a couple Couple different videos. This one's going to be about the first four. The first thing you need to know is what the heck are the eight limbs of yoga? This guy, basically the grandfather of yoga, his name was Pantanjali. He created this eightfold path to help people live a life of meaning and purpose. Honestly, the way I think of it is kind of like eight virtues. So the first two of this eight limbed path are the yamas and the niyamas. The yamas are the things that you don't do, your restraints, so to speak. The niyamas are the things you do do. Do do. Sorry. The things that you discipline yourself to do. So the five yamas are nonviolence, truthfulness, non stealing, which is that a word? Do not steal. Continence. This one's a little bit controversial because it originally translated to chastity, which absolutely sounds kind of outdated in today's world, right? But this has been kind of updated to a more modern definition to mean that we should preserve our energies for things that are to be used for the highest good. So we don't get frivolous with how we use ourselves, with how we put ourselves out there. We preserve things for the best of the best. And of course, we could apply that to our sex lives or we can apply it to everything else. And the last one is non-covetousness non-covetousness. The second limb in the eight-limbed path are your niyamas, and these are the things to do, your do-do's. So the first one being cleanliness or purity. Take care of your physical self. Take care of yourself and your surroundings. The second is contentment. Work on loving you. The third, work. You know the phrase, practice and all is coming. There you go. The fourth, Study, become the expert on you. And lastly, stay humble. You are not the end all be all. You are not the only thing that matters in this world. Be humble. So those are the yamas and the niyamas, the first and second limbs of the eight limbed path. I hope you found this helpful, just a little taster. If you want more helpful videos like this to help further the philosophical side of your practice, you can check out my new Thing, the Bad Yogi Studio, which is your digital studio for all things home yoga practice. You'll get educational videos like this, but also full yoga classes. Classes that start at 30 minutes and go all the way up to an hour. Meditations as well, pretty much things that run the whole spectrum. To check that out, just go down to the description below and you'll see a link that you can click to find out more information. Thanks again for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys right back here next time.